So we got up this morning and I'm driving and the coolant light started coming on in the Peterbilt. Going, meh, meh, meh. What that usually means the coolant light's low, right? So we pulled over and once it gets low, it can be almost full, but once it gets to the minimum, it'll start beeping. So we pulled over and I had to put about a half a gallon of antifreeze in it. Go about another 100 miles, start doing it again. And didn't know what was going on. Then about another 100 miles, started doing it again. So I said, I gotta get out and figure this out. So I looked around, couldn't find the coolant like nowhere. Popped it off. I said, well, I'm gonna have to get somewhere to get it fixed. Well, about another 100 miles, started doing it again. We stopped, found the leak. It was coming from the APU unit. If you don't know what that is, it's a little, almost like a generator on the back of your truck. It can, uh, it, it runs the AC and stuff when you're not running, but it also has hoses going to it. So what we had to do is we have, there's a cutoff valve. I'm about to show you real quick where it's at. You can just cut it off. As long as the leak is, bef is you know, before it gets there or whatever, then you can just shut it off. So, or I'm sorry, after it gets there, you just shut it off. So check this out real quick and I'll show you where it's at. All right, we got a 2019 Peterbilt right here, and this is the AP union on the back. It is leaking antifreeze from the bottom. You see the antifreeze leaking down here? It's pouring out the bottom, and we're having to put in a gallon of antifreeze every 100 miles. It's really bad. So I found out on the firewall, if you go right over here, you'll see a yellow bow. You see that yellow bow? If you turn that bow, you can actually turn off flow to the AP unit, which therefore saves your coolant, and you can keep on rolling until you get it fixed. Talking live with Sean. I hope the CDL tip helped you out. Let's get it.